<laughs> Hi, this is Christmas, Shamble's guru on the interweb at my desk in Chiang Mai, North Thailand. <laughs> this is Clash of Clans. Um, <laughs> has to make you smile, these characters. They are cute, aren't they? Let me... No, don't ramble on. And uh, my task, this is part two of how to script her and turn the music off. sounds. Um, my uh, task is to how do I record what's happening here? How do I screencast what is happening on my iPad screen? Um, see part one if you want to know how to mirror it from my iPad to my uh, laptop. This screen is actually connected to my, my laptop and we use something called reflector. But now I want to do the screencasting. Now it's up there. Oh, and let's uh, uh, let's actually do it. Uh, I need to do that. Let me go up here and touch this. Oh, come on. Here we go. Touch this and airplay and choose my laptop. They have to be on the same network. Wi Fi mirroring and it should actually, after a few seconds, move over to my laptop. Oh, it has done. It's underneath the browser. Look at that. You have to be careful of that sometimes, don't you? Here it is here. Okay, and so anything I do here on my iPad is uh, seen here. I do it. So I move up here, I move something like that. You can see I'm doing this. And so we've mirrored it from here from my iPad. This could be anything, of course, on your iPad. But my question was about Clash of Clans that was given to me. So now how do we... Um, how do we screencast this? Well, there's lots of ways of screencasting it. Make this a little bit smaller. Um, there's lots of ways, and I'll put them in the uh, YouTube notes. But my favourite, in fact, I have a whole list. There's a whole area on the Shambles website which lists lots of uh, ways of screencasting and how to do it uh, and lots of different tools but my favorite by far by far is this one called screencast-o-matic screencast-o-matic.com they have a free version I actually subscribe I think it's nine dollars a year so that I can store whatever I record uh, um, free I can record it I can store it there but I tend to throw it on my YouTube channel anything any screencasts I do you see, I'm not actually logged in, and I'm going to see if we can do this without logging in to show you how easy it is. And there's a button here which says Start Recording, and we click on that, and it's starting up. Let me just check that my my iPad still behind there. It is. I'm recording this with an iPhone. So it requires a Java plugin and. I think it's already on this machine, so it shouldn't take, should come up quite quickly. Let me pause this video. In fact, I may even cut this bit out. I've got to wait now. And uh, Do you want to run this application? Run. They do have a desktop. Do you want to run this application? Run. They do have a desktop app, which you can download. But I'm not using that. I want to show you how how simple it is. And uh, you won't see that very well, I'm sure. But what has happened is there's a dotted line appeared, a rectangle appeared here. And I'm going to... There we go. Let's use that. There it is there. And I'm going to make that dotted line. I've finished with my browser now. Let me get that out of the way. Let's move it out of the way there. I'm going to move that dotted line so it's just round the, the picture. Uh, let me get it here to this side. In fact, I'm not even going to do the outline of my uh, iPad that I've got. I feel very fancy about. So let me do that. And down here too. Testing my multicasting here. So, that rectangle goes around there. And I wasn't logged into screencast o -Matic. You can see here, there's a record button. And there are a few other things you can do here. This the microphone is actually switched off. It's detecting microphones now. I shouldn't have clicked that. So I can choose a microphone there. 
there's a way of choosing the uh, music from the machine inside from the sound card but I'm not you can google that so if I want to record whatever's on here all I do is I press the record button three two one so now I'm recording everything that's on here I'm not recording my voice if I was recording my voice I, if I did have the microphone switched on, which was on that earlier option, it would be recording my commentary. I could record what I, I could uh, uh, record uh, and comment what was happening here. So I can go to my iPad, and whatever I do on my iPad here is being screencast, is being recorded. Uh, so if I go to here and I play back a recording of let me do this a recording replay. So it's going to replay a defeat I had. And what it's doing, it's also playing it on my laptop, and my laptop is screencasting it. This seems all very complicated, but once you've tried it a couple of times, you have it straight in your head. Uh, it won't. It'll be okay. And if I if I pinch in on here, see if I can do this. If I pinch in on here, so you can see some action that's happening. So I can scroll in on my here we go. I can scroll in on my iPad by pinching and it's happening. That scrolling is also being reflected, uh, uh, mirrored on the uh, laptop and being recorded. So it's still being recording. So I'm, here I am doing a recording of recording the recording. Wow, that's weird. I think I'll stop at that. When you finish your recording, uh, I would, uh, um, let's do done. What it will do is it will ask you what you want to do with it. Do you want to publish it to YouTube or just save as a file or publish it to Screencast-O-Matic. SOM is Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, and if I clicked on here, it would replay it. And that's my favorite screencasting tool. Um, was I going to mention anything else just in case? Um, <laughs> I do have a Clash of Clans um, curated area. Let's go on scoop it, scoop it dot scoop dot it slash t slash clash of clans. If you are a clash of clans fan, there was that. Uh, there was a screencast of Matic, that was a reflector page. I think that was all. So check on the video on the YouTube uh, channel. Um, oh that's a good point. Um, on the YouTube channel, sometimes what I will do is once I've uploaded the video, and here's the video, when I've uploaded the video, YouTube gives you the option to do annotations. So you can actually, for, you know, a part of it, put a, some text on here in YouTube itself, which says, watch out, there's a great big gang of dragons about to attack. Or look at this, this is particularly interesting. So I tend to use YouTube itself for adding annotations. And I also, sometimes if there's no soundtrack at all, I'll use YouTube because you can include it in YouTube at a soundtrack. YouTube has lots of copyright free material that you can use. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was a bit windy. Sorry about that. A bit long. Um, but I hope it's uh, useful generally for screencast, uh, for air playing from here to here, and also for screencasting. Two big tools that should be in every teacher's um, toolbox. And that's it. Have fun. Bye.